Okay, so I'm going to be painting to Bob Ross, but instead of a normal painting, I decided that I would do it on a denim jacket. I have a lot of denim jackets that I have been meaning to do something nice with to kind of create some cool DIYs with. So let's get started. Hello, I'm Bob Ross. Wait. And I'd like to- He already like did steps though. Like there's already like something done. Of contact paper, just cut an oval. I don't know what contact paper is. right on the canvas. Then we've taken a little bit of gray and black gesso and just painted- How do you do this? How do you use this? I don't understand. Okay, so he uses black and gray gesso. I only have white gesso. And I don't know how well that's going to mix with this type of paint. So I'm just going to use black and gray fabric paint for this step and just kind of sponge that on. So I tell you what, let's just take off and do it. <laughs> Honestly, the denim's like basically already black, so like maybe I can just use that as like the background dark part. I don't know, I'm thinking it's fine. <laughs> this first layer finally dried, so then we're just going to continue on with that. A little yellow ochre on the two inch brush. Like so. so we're starting with yellow ochre, which I don't have because fabric paint. The paint's so watery, I can't like keep it in one spot. I feel like it's not like spreading as easily. I mean, I guess it's kind of working. See, easiest thing in the world. As I say, this is a painting technique that even if you've never painted, you can do. Absolutely can do. I'm gonna make a brown out of a, will you sap green and a lizard crimson. The two together make a gorgeous brown. And we're not trying um, to teach you to copy here. We want to teach you how um, to create certain effects, certain illusions, and turn you loose on the world. Because each and every one of us will see nature through different eyes. And what you see is what you should paint. I just feel like it's not dark enough. So I'm going to use some black. I just feel like up here is so much more yellow. I think I need to fix it, guys. What are those? What am I doing? Okay. I'm gonna put the indication of a light source up in the up in the sky. Where's my light paint? What is, is that? Like the sun's just burning through there. Mm. I like to get up early in the morning and walk through the woods when the sun's just beginning to come up, and it just it shines through the trees. I think it's one of the most beautiful. Going bro. Okay. So it looks like he's starting to design the trees. Begin designing all kind of little trees and happy little things that live here in our world. All of our little critters have got to have a place to, to hide. A place where they feel safe. And this is it. This is it. Just sort of hang around, have a good time all their life. So you can't even see anything. There we are. Now we'll take a little black, go right into that yellow, makes a beautiful green. It's just as easy. Today I thought I would just use old two inch brush. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I work better with a sponge, so I'm gonna try to do that because this is not working. So I tried to finesse it a little bit because I realized that some of the things are not blending as well as I hoped. I think it's because I'm doing it on a darker um, fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's no white canvas, so I added some white. Still doesn't look great. Let's just keep going and see where that gets us. I've got a new little squirrel. <laughs> I call him Peapod Jr. Because Peapod was a little squirrel that lived with me for quite a while. And he used to live in my pocket. He liked to stay in my pocket and sleep. What am I doing? So I'm going rogue because this does not look right. 
you decide where, how many, what color. It's what's so great about painting. You make the decisions on this piece of canvas. You literally have unlimited power. Here, mm, here I can move rivers. I can change mountains. And so can you. Looks a little bit better now, I hope. Maybe right here is a little watery fall. Cause that's not complicated. There we go. Now we have a little watery fall. Lives right there, both sides, what right through that thing. What is happening? Why did... I'm gonna take one side and go through the light color. Nice little rocks. Nice little rocks that sort of, they sort of hold this waterfall in, keep it from getting away. Nothing worse than a waterfall that's got away on you. If you've painted with me before, you know I have an obsession with large trees. I'm literally terrified of messing this up. I'm gonna start right here and go and make a big old gnarly, gnarly tree that lives right there. There he is, okay. big tree. Maybe there's an arm up here that just reaches up to the sky. Big old arm on this tree. Just wherever, wherever. Shoot, we'll have an arm over here too. It doesn't matter. Trees grow ever which way imaginable. Certain kinds of trees have certain basic shapes. But I'm gonna take my knife and maybe we'll just put the indication of a little highlight that lives right along the edge of this tree. See, just put it on like that, blend it back. Just something like that, wherever. There you go, there, yeah. Two inch brushes stress me out. They're so big, like I don't understand. There we go. There they go, see them? Just a few little happy leaves that live up here on this tree. Something about like that. There we are. So there's only a few more steps left. I think it looks okay so far. Not great, but it's a different medium. So obviously you have to tack your fat in. It's on denim instead of a canvas and everything like that. Oh my God, why? Why did I do this? Make the little leaves and bushes, put some sap green. I want this quite dark. Let's put the indication of a few highlights right up on that old tree. Just a few. A little more color on the brush. There. Just think about basic shape. That's all we're looking for. I want your eye to go right there when you look at this. It's kind of looking like a tree. Little grassy areas right in here. I don't know what I'm doing. A little bit of paint thinner. You can put a little stick and twig here and there. Really hope you've enjoyed this little painting and I hope you try it because it'll bring you a lot of pleasure and it's not that difficult to do. I'm sorry, but what? I mean, it's not bad. It just doesn't look like the picture, which is my home fault, but. <laughs>